Hey everyone, today we're going to be making these small rolled rosette paper flowers. The supplies you're going to need for this is 65 pound cardstock, a thin dowel or quilling tool to roll the flower up, a glue gun, and the rosette templates which I have linked below in the description of this video. If you want to make these larger, you can easily roll more than one rosette together to create bigger sizes. So that's really fun to do. And tips for sizing um, these are below in the description as well if you're using a cutting machine. These rosettes are great for um, topping wedding favors or baby shower favors or making a bouquet from. And I sell a full set of 10 in my shop and they're all essentially made the same way no matter which pattern you're using. And I do have one free one on my blog abbykirstencollections.com in the craft subscriber resource library. So you can find that there as well if you want to give one of them a try before um, buying the whole set to use. And you can use a cutting machine or you can hand cut with the printable PDF outline. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you how easy it is to make one of these really cute rolled rosette paper flowers. To start, get your rosette cut out, and I'm just using one of the wavy designs here. And start at the outer edge and begin to roll inwards towards yourself. You can use a thin wood dowel here to get that initial little roll started, and then kind of slightly unroll it again and tuck it and add a little bit of glue right at the bottom corner to make sure that that um, very start there, which is gonna be our center, stays nice and tightly together and it's not gonna unroll on you uh, when we go to um, glue this flower together at the base. So you're basically just going to keep rolling this all the way up inwards towards yourself. So I'm gonna kind of speed up here a little bit and we're just gonna keep rolling and rolling and all the rosettes are made the same way. So if you decided to buy the full set of 10 where I have a bunch of variations of rosettes um, in my shop, which is linked below this video, you can all roll them the same way. And they're just going to create different looks based on the edging of the rosette. So we're getting down to our last little bit here and we're just going to finish rolling it all the way up and then you uh, want to place it down on a hard surface and hold your finger in the center of the rosette and just let it naturally unravel a little bit. So it's going to let the rosette grow so that it looks um, to be about probably two and a half, three inches um, wide once you let it grow a little bit. And then that base is where you're going to add your glue and place the top of the rosette back over it and you're going to get that um, all glued down there so that it's nice and secure. So that's how easy it is to make these rosettes. They take like no time at all once they're cut out, especially if you have a cutting machine or you can use uh, printable PDFs as well if you wanna cut with scissors. But they're really fun to make, they're really simple and they're very versatile for a lot of different projects. To try one of these templates for free, visit abbykirstencollections.com or shop all 10 rosette templates in the shop on catchingcolorflies.com. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you next time.